All right, I'll do a quick video on disassembly and assembly of a uh, Colt pre-woodsman or the first series woodsman or the pre-war woodsman, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one was uh, made in 1919 and it is the older model. So the it does not have the magazine release button on the side like the second series and it does not have a magazine safety like the third series so I, um, there's a few things that you don't need to do to disassemble these I'm gonna first take the magazine out um, I don't think it actually matters whether or not you have the magazine in it but don't work on a gun with a magazine in it in any case um, so normally you check to make sure that it's unloaded and, and you know it's never a bad idea to do that so this one it is unloaded, um, but the first step is actually going to have to end up retracting the slide anyway. So the instructions that Colt put out, they say to hold it in your left hand, grip the slide with your right hand, and I'm, I'm leaving my index finger free because that's actually a takedown button. So you pull it back hold, while holding the slide back, push the button down, hold the button down, and release the slide back forward. What that does is it captures the recoil spring and holds it in place. So now the slide can slide back and forth. And so what we're gonna need to do is release the hammer now, which is cocked, and you can just dry fire it. Um, a lot of times at 22 or any rim fire, it's not a good idea to dry fire them um, because the firing pin can hit the uh, the edge of the edge of the chamber, peen it in, and then you won't load. Um, I have a special tool for actually removing peens that have happened because of that. Um, and then once it's been, so now the hammer has been released and the uh, um, recoil spring is, is held captive, is compressed. What's actually holding the slide forward right now is the hammer itself. Um, now for a really weird maneuver, there's this little textured spot right here what you need to do is it takes a fair amount of force, but you're gonna push into that. So you push it forward and all of a sudden the bottom pops out. So that comes out, that contains the mainspring. So that's the mainspring housing, the back strap. Um, and uh, that's a lot like, you know, when I pull this apart to go, oh, that's where Ruger came up with that for their Mark series guns. It's a very similar design. Um, but what that also holds in place is now the magazine catch and the magazine catch spring and this is actually also the sear spring uh that that'll just fall out um so if you did this and left the magazine in the magazine at this point you know there's nothing to hold it in so now the hammer is not being held up because you've removed the main spring from here so now slides right off so that's that's it it's field stripped it's very quick and easy once you've done it a few times uh, a couple different places i read it says you know it's it's very easy to do very difficult to explain how to do it um so you really need a, a visual demonstration so um assembly is essentially the reverse of disassembly um with your hammer down because otherwise it'd be in the way put your slide on then you're gonna need to install the magazine catch and spring and it's supposed to go this way with the curve going forwards pushing on the sear um, the way I also if I couldn't remember it is I would look real closely at these edges see how this one's all oops come on focus it's all black along there but this side it's nice and shiny well that's because that's been holding onto a magazine and uh, that's where the wear so clearly that has to go forward the magazine so there's a few things you need to be aware of you can see inside you can see that little shiny thing here I'll get it to hang out right there that is the hammer strut and this spring has to go underneath that pin and if I can come on well and underneath the strut and then it'll go up and that's kind of where it sits put it should stick down a tiny bit if it's up like that it's in a little too far so it should sit out like that the other thing you're going to need to have it set up is you can see the hammer which is that big very that big guy right there you'll see it flop forward 
So it's got to be forward. And the easiest way to get it all the way forward is when it's in this position, I'm pointing it down so gravity's trying to pull it that way. So if I pull the trigger, it'll fall forward. So there it just fell forward. Keeping that in pointed down, I'll reinsert the uh, mainspring housing slash back strap of the grip. And then once that's in, I want to kind of flip it up so I can I can actually hear the, the heard that strut pop down. You want to make sure that here I'll go back again. You want to make sure that strut gets into this hole. So the hammer should still be hanging forward. So I'll get that in. And this just takes a little bit of practice. And you just snap it in place. Goes in, snaps in, and, uh, and that's it. Double check it. Everything works. Cox. Safety works. All right. We're good to go. And that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Um, the later models, are they made it more complicated. Just uh, goes to show you, don't deviate from what John Moses Browning did in the first place. Um, all right. Hopefully this helps, is helpful, and uh, I will see you later.